I first started going to watch Pompey play back at the start of 1990. For as long as I can remember, my dad and my brother were Fratton Park regulars, but I used to think as a kid, you know, what was it all about, you know, standing out in the rain, standing out in the cold and well, watching other people play football, but for me, I thought to myself, well, I want to go along and see what all the fuss is about. And my first game I went to, I got the beginner's luck look off them, if you like, because uh, we scored in the first minute and played Swindon. And, of all people, Alan McLaughlin equalised for Swindon in the second half and uh, obviously came on to become a future Pompey great a couple of years later. My favourite game, or most epic game I remember as a day out, was away to Bradford in 98 where we avoided relegation from what is now the Championship into League One. But I think the things that stood out for me personally that day was I just moved to Birmingham that year to go to university. and. Um, being a bit of a stereotypical student, I uh, overslept that morning and uh, had to get the later coaching, which was the one I had planned to get up to Bradford that day. So I missed the first hour of the game, but just as I walked in, um, I knew we'd, I got wind that we were winning 1 0. And uh, as I walked in, we made it 2 0, and Sammy Igo scored. And pretty much time to party then because we ended up winning the game 3 1. And whatever happened that day, as long as we won the game, we were safe from relegation, irrespective of what happened in the Stoke Man City game. But I think for me, um, the thing about that game that also stood out was, was when we were on the pitch at the end, there was a platform over by the players' tunnel where they were standing on it. was seeing Alan Ball, RIP, uh, standing up there and you know coming back as a hero to the club, who, of course, was such a great manager in the 80s for us when we got up to the old first division. And, you know, just seeing the joy on his face on the pitch, you know, when he kept us up and everyone chanting his name, it was as if, you know, kind of things had gone full circle because earlier that season, of course, we, um, we opened a new Fratton end here at the ground. And, of course, we'd gone about 10 years of having that. And when he came back, the atmosphere was just, was just incredible. You know, everyone chanting Adam Ball's Blue and White Army incessantly. And, you know, for me, that Bradford game just was the epitome of everything we built up in the three months before in that run. And, we had largely the same team all season as well that was struggling so much by Christmas until Ball came back at the end of January. Um, apart from, of course, when Steve Claridge came on loan um, at the start of the year, you know, for a little bit, and obviously we had a massive contribution and before we signed him permanently in the summer. But the Bradford game for me was the ultimate one because, you know, it was the first time I'd, I'd actually experienced us kind of achieve something, if you like, in those eight years of watching us play. You know, because we had the near misses of almost winning the FA Cup following year should have gone up automatically. I think since then we've had you know the FA Cup which speaks for itself and the promotion to the Premier League, all of which were incredible occasions as well. Oh, but I would have to say the Bradford one was my personal favourite in the 25 years of watching Poppy.